Maybe if I think in English, I can speak English better. Hi guys, I'm Teacher Freaks and I'm gonna help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. Guys, today we are going to talk about eating habits, okay? I have done other videos, uh, other thinking English videos, so I will leave the links in the description below, okay? So try to watch them, they're very good. But today we're gonna focus on eating habits, all right? Now, this video may be a little bit difficult for beginners, so I had one idea to try to help you, okay? If you go down to the description, you will see a link to my blog, okay? On my blog, there is a file with the most important pieces of information that I am going to talk about here. So open the file and watch the video with me. It's going to help you. It's going to be easier for you to follow this video and understand the suggestions that I'm going to give you, okay? Now, if you are a pre-intermediate, intermediate speaker, you don't need this file, okay? Now let's focus on the activity. I'll give you four steps, okay? Step one, you will sit down and make a list of vocabulary you need, okay? All the words related to food. There is also a link to my blog where you can find many different kinds of food. It's snacks, junk food, healthy food. So a long list of words you can use to help you do this exercise, okay? So this is the first step. You need words, you need vocabulary. Step two. Divide your speech into five parts, okay? Because each part of the day, you eat something different. So let's divide your speech into five different parts, okay? Introduction, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Snacks uh, are basically food, uh, kinds of food that you eat in between meals, before lunch or in the afternoon, uh, after dinner at night, before you go to sleep, there are small meals, okay? Not as big as lunch or dinner, for example, okay? Step three, now that you have the vocabulary, check my blog. There is a big list, a long list of words you can use. You divided your speech, five parts, write down breakfast, lunch, dinner. Now we need to remember what we eat in each meal, in each part of our day, okay? So for example, I wrote down breakfast, bread, toast, juice, yogurt, cereal, coffee for lunch, salad, grilled chicken, salmon, rice, beans, vegetables for dinner soup, a sandwich, salad, meat, and then we have the snacks. Snacks depend on the, the part of your day, okay? But here are some popular suggestions for snacks, okay? For example, in the morning, mixed nuts, yogurt, cereal bar. In the afternoon, maybe yogurt again, uh, fruit, some fruit, chocolate. Why not? Now, here you just have words, okay? You don't have a construction yet, all right? You just have the, the names of the food you eat in the morning, in the afternoon, for breakfast, for lunch, but how can we make a speech? How can we make a phrase? How can we make a, uh, a conversation out of this? Well, here is some extra help, okay? You can also find this uh, on my blog, okay? If you are a beginner, I wrote this down to help you write this exercise and do this exercise and think in English, okay? First, you don't need only words about food. You need verbs, you need adjectives, you need adverbs, you need, to, you need more to talk about uh, eating habits, okay? So let's see some useful, some important verbs. Eat, drink, have, cook, buy, prepare, try. Some adjectives. Healthy. Healthy is something that is good for you. It's healthy for your body. It's good for your body. Light, heavy, easy, difficult, practical, quick, 
Some adverbs to indicate frequency. Sometimes, always, never, usually, occasionally. And some connectors uh, to link the phrases. Otherwise, you will speak like this. I have uh, bread in the morning. I eat uh, salad at lunch. So you need to connect this phrase. So I will show you some basic connectors, okay? But, and, however, so. So I'm showing, I'm going to show you four. But, uh, but, and, so, however. Basic ones. Now we go to step four. Now that we have the food vocabulary, now that we divided when we eat in the morning, lunch, breakfast, uh, dinner, snacks, uh, now that we have verbs that we can use to talk about food, we have adjectives to give quality to the food, we have adverbs to indicate frequency and connectors to link my ideas, now we can think of a simple and short introduction. I will give you some examples. I have a very busy life, so I don't have much time to cook. So, short introduction. I am busy, I don't have time to cook. Another example. I love food. I eat all the time. So, this is another way to start talking about food, to start talking about your eating habits. One more example. I like junk and healthy food, but I try to have a balanced diet. So here is another example of how you can start talking about your eating habits, okay? You can create different explanations, different introductions to start, okay? But these are some suggestions for you. Now let's make sentences. I'm going to give you my example now, okay? But this is basically, uh, I follow the same steps that I am giving you. I checked the vocabulary that I need, the verbs that I need, the frequency that I need, I organized my day uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, lunch, dinner, and now I am going to make this speech, okay? I have a very busy life, so I don't have much time to cook. In the morning, I usually have some fruit like papaya, bananas, or apples. I also have yogurt or some cereal. It depends on the day. Before lunch, I always try to have a snack, something simple, like a cereal bar or some fruit. I drink a lot of water. I love water. At lunch, I try to eat healthy food. I usually eat salad, vegetables and meat. I eat a lot of broccoli, green beans and kale. And I love chicken. In the afternoon, I sometimes eat a chocolate bar or some fruit. I don't have much time in the afternoon. At night, I usually make dinner. I like to make some soup or a simple sandwich. I also love junk food, so sometimes I have uh, cookies or some pizza. Now, this exercise requires preparation. And my suggestion is, when while you are having lunch, try to think about it. Hmm, now I'm having chicken. I like to have chicken and, and salad uh, for lunch. So try to use the vocabulary during your meals, so then you're going to remember this. And after you do this preparation, you can leave this short text, bullet points, to help you remember. Save it somewhere, somewhere you can see, somewhere you, somewhere you can always look at and take a look every, every couple of minutes. First, you need to prepare yourself, but after that, this is also another suggestion of a subject you can think in English, okay? Do you have any suggestions? And by the way, if you want to leave to write your text about your eating habits, do it. Leave it in the comment section and I will correct it for you, okay? Well, guys, I hope you like this video. Share this video with your friends. If you are enjoying the content of this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you next time.